Okay guys, I got my 1999 Lexus LX 470. Um, when I go over bumps, the front suspension pretty much feels like a, you're on a pogo stick. And this is a Lexus. It shouldn't feel this way. When you go over bumps, especially with the AHC, it should not bounce you up and down and continue to bounce you up and down. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. I think I figured out what the issue is. And uh, yeah, I'll walk you through on, on the steps I'm going to do to fix it um, as cheap as I can and without taking it to the dealership. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to see how much this moves um, from low to high. So right now it's right there. Okay, we're going to turn on the vehicle. It's in low right now, and we're going to move it up to high, and we're going to see how many graduations it does. Okay, guys, if you ever try to put this in high or neutral, and it just blinks a bunch, check your doors. If your doors are open, it's not going to do anything. Let's close our door, and there we go. It starts to move. So we're going to go to neutral. And we're going to go to high. Now we're going to check how many graduations it did. Check right there. Looks like it's about right here. So that's one, two, three, four. So only four graduations which is terrible. So if you have, I think, um, under eight, that's, that's gonna be an issue. Um, if you have a good system, you're probably gonna have double digits. So hopefully these blow do the trick. Okay, so the first thing I did was I hit this thing right here with some penetrating oil. Um, this is the bleeder valve. And then I hit it right here as well. And just let that sit for about you know a couple hours so next i'm gonna take this cap off and then take the 10 millimeter wrench and unscrew it i'm just gonna take this whole thing off and then from there i'm just gonna get a bo water bottle empty water bottle and let it drain into that guys next we're going to take this globe off so right here you're going to attach that fan clutch wrench and uh, I'll show you what we do after that okay I removed this piece right here it's this big boy it's just two 14 millimeter bolts and that's going to give me more access to the um, passenger side globe. Okay, so now we're going to get this, stick it on there, and pull it like that. We're just going to get it started. It's pretty easy, you don't have to pull too hard. And from there, we're just going to do it by hand. If you ever start to see um, foamy stuff coming out, stop and let it come out until it stops. And then just keep spinning. Because if you spin it too much, it's literally going to blow off. Um, this part right here will blow off this way just because of the pressure. So you kind of want to make sure it... it uh, you have the ability to relieve that pressure. So we're just going to do this by hand until it starts coming out a bit and then just let it drip for a while and start on the other side.
Okay, so obviously all the pressure came out when we uh, took this bleeder valve off, so it didn't do anything. That is good. Okay, check out this one. When I took it off, it started foaming, and a lot of stuff came out. This is on the front left side. I think this is the problematic one. The other one didn't foam at all, so that tells me that the membrane inside is probably um, broken. Possibly if you did a pencil test on this, it wouldn't work. Um, it would fail the pencil test, so hopefully that is the case. Um, a lot of fluid came out of it. The other one is right here, and the fluid's in there right now, just chilling. So I think that is the issue. Um, this was at the very bottom, and that thing's very black. That's not as black difference you can actually kind of see through that one that one you can't so I mean that could be something as well I'm not really sure you guys I just put this one back this one on this is a new one that I got off of a low mile vehicle I tightened it by hand and then I turned it about an eighth of a turn with the wrench just to make it snug Okay, so what we're gonna do to get all this old fluid out. Um, first, you wanna take as much out of this as you can since it's already pretty much all out from when I drained those front two. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna loosen all the bleed valves on all four of these and just um, let, it, let it bleed until there's none left. Um, screw them back on fill the front thing up again and go from there. Hey, this is the AHC fluid that I got, part number 08886-01805, and it was 2.5 liters. Um, suspense fluid, I got this on eBay, I think for about 60 bucks, I'll link it in the description, and it's supposed to do one full fluid change. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what you're going to need. Okay, guys. Um, after swapping those two globes out, the thing drives perfectly. As you can see, there's barely any bouncing at all. Um, it drives like it should. Nice, nice and level. And the best thing about it is I did this all for under $100. So if you went to a dealership, they'd probably try to sell you all four globes, and that's like $1,200 plus labor. And then the fluid and everything else, you're probably looking at about $1,500. And uh, obviously I paid a fraction of that. And with a vehicle that has high miles and is over... Um, 20 years old doesn't really make sense to throw in two thousand dollars when you could just fix it for a hundred dollars um, another thing a lot of people want to switch this over to uh, Land Cruiser shocks um, here's the bump right here let's see how it does like it's crazy it's crazy the difference <laughs> doesn't bounce at all I mean that bounce a little bit but the reverberating did not happen. The pogo stick action did not happen. It's like driving a brand new vehicle compared to what I was driving. So definitely something that you want to look at. If you have issues with your AHC system, post in the comments. I will do my best to help. This is the third vehicle I've fixed. Um, most of the time it's something simple. Um, so. If you, if you can find the parts used, you can save a lot of money. Even if you buy them new, I've seen, I've seen them new on the internet for $800 for all four accumulators, um, the globes. So it just depends on what you wanna do, but be sure to give me a, a holler and I can help you as best as I can.